Hello there, all you beautiful thrill seekers. My name is Ghost Shadongstaborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to Ghost Chat YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there, my name is Ghost Shadongstaborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a Ghost Chat review. This is the series where we get to review rising attractions across all theme parks across the world. This review is on the Splashtastic Conga River Rapids at the Alton Towers Resort. We're going to be sharing the history of the ride and then share my thoughts on the ride. So, before we get started guys, make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the ride. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more news, reviews, vlogs, interviews and much, much more. And also guys, make sure you are click the notification bell, not kicking it, clicking it, so you never miss another thrilling YouTube video. Also guys, make sure you go into the description down below where not only can you find the Towers Times website, um, where the information on the history of the Congo River Rapids is found, as well as the statistics. Make sure you go and follow Towers Times, by the way. They're brilliant. Uh, you can also find links to submit your video ideas. Use the Google Forms link. You can follow the Discord server. That's down there, as well as Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Snapchat. And for now, guys, let's have a look at the history on this River Rapids adventure at the magical Alton Towers Resort. So back in 1985, a gigantic construction site appeared before people's eyes at the Alton Towers theme park. The excavation of thousands of tons of dirt, several large sections of rock blasted away and the removal of a car park began to show the huge scale of a brand new ride that would open in 1986. Upon opening, the brand new water ride was known as the Grand Canyon River Rapids, with the entrance to the ride situated in the old Aqualand area of the park. Due to this, the majority of the ride circuit remained hidden from the plain sight of a guest. However, back in 1992, a huge change came to the ride and its surrounding area. The addition of the Runway Mine Train, manufactured by Matt Wright, brought with it a brand new area, Katanga Canyon. This saw the ride's entrance relocated as well as a name change to Congo River Rapids. The name was much more appropriate to suit the surrounding African theme that Katanga Canyon brought with it and the park maps officially listed the Congo River Rapids as a ride situated in the brand new area. During the mid 2000s the original red boats that ran on the water ride were replaced with brand new yellow boats which have continued to be used to this day. The obvious difference aside from the updated colour scheme was the removal of the head and back rests, allowing the boat to be more intrusive for any water that seeks to claim any dry patches on riders clothes. Following a fatal incident at Drayton Manor theme park back in 2017, the River Rapids temporarily closed, and while the attraction reopened after the short closure, its waterfalls were now turned off and the water guns that passing guests could use to squirt those riding have been officially removed. Measures believed to have been taken to reduce the likelihood of guests standing up whilst on board. Overall, despite this little hitch up towards the uh, recent uh, signs of life, the Cong River Rapids is definitely a splashtastic ride that I remember all too well. So there we go, Thrill Seekers. That is the Congo River Rapids history. Big thank you to Towers Times for all the information in that wonderful article, which again is linked in the description down below. Now, Congo River Rapids, what are my thoughts on the ride? What are, what are my experiences on the ride? This is a wonderful family attraction. Absolutely a wonderful family ride. And you know what? I'm a huge fan of this attraction. I think that the way they've handled this is brilliantly. Uh, and I think that, you know, the, the whole experience really, you know, get, takes you into the depths of this African jungle. Um, you know, you're on the mine train and it's out of control, but when you're flowing down the, the stream of the mine uh, on the River Rapids in the African jungle, it's just brilliant. And, you know, I like the, the sort of cross section, you know, when you're in the tunnel and you've sort of got the rapids passing the train. If you get a dueling element with the rapids and the train, that's always the best. Um, <laughs> um, but my favourite element was actually known as the Mega Wave. That was one of my favourite elements on this ride, the Mega Wave, where... Uh, it was pa just past or just around the old pizza and pasta um, which it all used to be a KFC uh, and a pizza hut I think it was as well but it was definitely a KFC before uh, but it was turned to explorers pizza pasta um, there was like a mega wave element and you get absolutely soaked so there's no escape from it 
Um, that was always my favourite element. And the waterfalls as well. Now, I don't know if you guys remember the waterfalls, but I remember the waterfalls all too well. Um, I loved the waterfalls. Absolutely loved it. Um, I, in fact, I actually did the rapids. I think it was actually... There was, the, the first year I did the rapids was actually the ones with the red boats. I think... Uh, the rest of the time was with the yellow boats, the updated colour scheme. But I think I did one year at least with the red boats, I think. So, um, I mean, I kind of remember some red boats. So, um, you know, it was great to have that kind of memories and history with the rapids. Uh, it's a wonderful attraction. Many people have said, you know, with the waterfalls now being turned off, with the extra support to make it safer, which is great by the park. Uh, great of the park to do that, to put extra safety risks involved with the, with the rapids and keep it safe. Um, but with the waterfalls turned off, the guns away, and, you know, with not many exciting elements around the ride, it's looking a bit bland, a little bit boring, and, you know, it's just turned into a rapids, and especially if you don't get a mega wave. If you don't get mega waves, it doesn't turn into an exciting ride anymore. So, people start to think, you know, what will happen to the ride? What will happen to the experience? You know, will it, will it be removed? Will all the water be drained out? Will the trough be turned into a new area for a new attraction? Um... I know many people would like to see a brand new coaster in Katanga Canyon to replace the rapids and give a new dueling element to the, with the Runway Mine Train. Even though I'd like that, I'd also like to see an updated rapids ride. I'd like to see a brand new rapid system come in. Maybe one with a lift hill as well. Uh, and, a, a, and a bit of, maybe an elevator lift hill and a drop, if it was possible. Uh, but probably not. <laughs> um, but I'd like to see some updates come to the rapids. I'd like to see them give it a whole new storyline and a big new theme. You see what Merlin Magic Making's done with the dark rides at Alton Towers and across the rest of the park. You see what Chessington's done with Room on the Broom replacing Hocus Pocus Hall. Look at the level of detail going into that. The Gruffalo replacing Bubble Works. Uh, Thought Park when they brought in things like The Walking Dead The Ride. Yes, it was an IP, but they definitely brought in a new level of theming for the X attraction. Uh, if there was a positive with that ride. Um, and Alton Towers with Gangster Granny The Ride. Look what Merlin Magic Making's done there and the Alton Towers Dungeon. Look at the level of detail of theming going on. So, I I know, and, and again, those are IPs. The Dungeon's an IP for Merlin Entertainment. The um, Gangster Grand is the David Williams IP. But in terms of an original theme, I'd like to see Merlin Magic Making work with some theming companies and do an, a massive overhaul of the Rapids. You know, the rumour to the back end of 2020 was that Nemesis is going to get a major overhaul. I could see some stuff doing... If, if that's confirmed, if Nemesis is going to get overhauled, uh, over this 2021 period and uh, reopen next year in 2022 then I would really like to see I, I mean you expect the level of detail that's going to go in if it's going to be like an overhaul of the ride send you some new theming maybe a new extended storyline uh, some new changes to the station hope in, in the inside hopefully um, so that if there's a lot of changes that Merlin Magic Maker are probably going to work on with Alton Towers with the Nemesis overhaul I'd like to see them overhaul the Rapids next and close it for a year and do a massive overhaul with a brand new storyline, brand new theme, brand new colour scheme, and just a brand new experience overall, but keep the safety risks. You know, keep the silver gates, because obviously you have to with the safety risks. Um, but just bring in some new theming and um, just, just, just make it a better experience and make it a more enjoyable experience than it was in the glory days. Uh, so... You know, I think the Rapids could be next in line for an overhaul, but we'll see what happens with that. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this Coast Channel review on the Congo River Rapids. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell. Keep them the coast of life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a river-tastic day.